When I was a teenager, I had my first boyfriend. He made a, very, a statement very clear from the very uh, first day that we date. No one can give you a ride home except me. After that, he beat me four times. In three years, we were together. When we broke up, he still said, no one could ever love you as much as I do. I can't believe it too, you know. At least no one bit me that hard. When I was later on, when I was still young and beautiful, there's a guy been, you know, flirting and chasing me for months, sending me a gift. One day, he gave me a call. I quit. I don't think you like boys. When I was pregnant, people asked my friend, what? We thought she was a lesbian. And then they found out that I'm a single mom, and they're like, ah, yes, she's a lesbian. <laughs> when I did my first casting for my TV host job in Vietnam TV, I did it pretty well, and they call me and say, you passed, yay. Now you can become our writer. I'm like, what? Because your hair too short and your skin is too dark for be on TV. But then three years after, after working very hard, I got my first talk show. And they shut down my talk show for three months because I wore a nose pin. When I was writing my first book, a publisher came to me and say, we only can publish your book if you change one detail in the first chapter. So in that chapter, the character had sex for the first time when she was 17. Can you make it 18? <laughs> so that's the story of my life. And you know, at the end, I'm still become a TV host. I'm still a single mom. Uh, I still have a boyfriend, clearly. Not a lesbian at all. But I am still published my first book. But that's a droply tell you a life of a Vietnamese women in Vietnam. Sometimes you have to accept to be bitten by your boyfriend. You have to fall for anyone that rich, good looking and go after you. You cannot have sex when you're under 18. You cannot have a nose pin, dark skin or short hair. So simply cannot look too different. But that's just the first layer. There's so many thing under it. There's a time I work as a Vietnam ambassador for Work Free in New York about human trafficking, raise awareness to uh, stop human trafficking. And I an interview Phil Gore, who are the victim of human trafficking. So human trafficking means that you got sold by someone you know to China to become some stranger wives to become sex slave. And then they've been fighting very, very hard to get out of their prison. And you know what? After years, finally, they made it home to Vietnam. They met their parents, and their own parents abandoned them. They insult them for being such a bad daughter, being away from home for so long. And you know what is even funnier? If they walk around their village, they might bump into the guy that tricked them and sold them to China before, but couldn't do anything about it. Because in Vietnam, if you stole a chicken and sold it, people might put you in jail. But if you trick a girl and sold her, there's no law yet. And sometimes they have to stand to be sent to some shelter just to learn some skill to get back to the community as a normal girl. So imagine what they've been through, and I really admire them for doing all that. So talking about the fight for feminism, it's been many years, many centuries, 
in the history have an amazing example for you. I'm just a tiny person in Vietnam, and what I did is very tiny. I know there's a big, bigger scale than that. But go back to the talk today. Nowadays, I felt like feminism has become a trend, and this trend is overrated. So here's the media world, and you will see all the face, all the feminists that they try to build these days. In those superstar or pop star, I got a chance to interview Demi Lovato and Katy Perry, and they're such a sharp, soft women. They, there's a time they have to be in rehab, very hard to get back to their real life, and then so there's a time they felt they so chubby and they have to exercise a lot to get back to the image that people used to see them. And Katy Perry, when she was in Vietnam, she was clumsy because she, she couldn't find a good words to give a speech. So all that moment, but without being very close to them, there's a no way you could see. All you see is this, is a feminism, is a strong woman. Media build such a strong image of a new woman. And now everything is overrated. If you look tough, you are feminist. If you're successful in your career, you are feminist. If you're not married yet, you're feminist. Or maybe something wrong with you. So, every go and then people like me suddenly become a role model for young women. They would come to me and say, Thuy Ming, I want to be like you. I want to be strong. I want to be successful. I want to travel the world. I want to become a single mom like you. You know, I became a single mom not because I, 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 I want to give a statement of my own love line that I don't need men. No, I became a single mom because, because there's only choice I got that time. I didn't get married with the father of my son because I'm not in love with him anymore. I know nowadays many Vietnamese girls get pressures from the society and family that they have to choose a certain career path, they have to get married at a certain age, they have to have a child at a certain age, spend some certain time with their family. But then I think men get the same pressure. Do you have a, I'm sure, is that many men here? Do you have pressures of, of have a career path, getting married, and have children? It's not, it's, not a, it's not a woman who has to get the pressures. Everyone can get that pressure. So go back. I'm sorry if you hurry and settle down with some wrong partner. It's your fault. It's not that because you are a woman in Vietnam. No. Because go back to my life. I did everything for myself, not only because I'm a woman. But let's say you are a strong woman already and you wonder fight for feminism, you want to become a feminist, and you try to show to the world as the pop star that you watch in media, you want to show that you can travel the world, you're successful, you can, you can do anything with our man, you can fix your car. But let's say you're very successful in your fight, then where are you going to be? There's only two scripts for a feminist. You wouldn't end up alone because that's what you asked for. You don't need a man, or you don't need a woman. I think that's pretty sad. <laughs> Any of us need someone. Any, even as strong as men or women, would love to have somebody next to you. And I think it's pretty sad if you end up just by yourself, because you keep giving a statement for your whole life that you're independent and you don't need anyone. The second script is, you try to punish men and then force men to bring through what you've been through. Have you heard of mensiety? Any one of you have heard of mensiety? So it's when men feel very anxious because around him there's so many, suddenly so many powerful independent women. So he worry like one day I'm going to lose my own power. 
Any one of you ever get through this feeling? Good, good, because deep down, honestly, I believe a real man shouldn't be thinking that way, shouldn't look at women as a threat. That's very different from women, because women think any main problem are for men. But men, I don't think they really care much about feminist or, you know, how strong, because they would love that. But let's see, one day, the word flipped. Our men suddenly don't have to go to work anymore. I think they love it. <laughs> I just heard the man, and he bring the idea of doing nothing for 10 minutes. I'm sorry, but that's a man word. <laughs> men have a box in their brain that's empty box. <laughs> Women cannot do that. When we do nothing, we paint our nails. We thinking about what to do next and who to call to talk to. We don't do nothing. So I think men would love there's a word that they can stay home. Yeah, put some toy to the kids, playing games all day, watch TV, and then wash dishes when the wife came home. So, but for me as a woman, I don't like to see that scene. I wouldn't, it's, it's a little bit eerie for me if I go home I see my man washing dishes, and then I have to go out and fix our car. I don't think that's the script any woman wants. And feminists, I don't think you feel happier with that scene. Are you happier? <laughs> okay. In that case, this, this morning I was surprised. I'm not going to point out the personal who is that, but I just know a couple who is the ambassadors and the lady just yesterday, and they said that they wouldn't attend the TED talk. And they talked to each other, they said only one of them could attend the, the talk. And the first thing in my mind is, of course there's an ambassador, of course there's a man going to be at the talk, and the, the lady is going to stay at home and take care of the kids. And then, who came up today? A lady. So just a little example to say that there's a many things could change and many different concepts. I, I, I said stop fighting for femi feminism, but at the same time, I would like to say, if you want to become a feminist, that's your choice. If you don't want to become a feminist, that's your choice too. But make sure that's your choice. Look, at my, look back at my life a little bit. The other day, my boyfriend said, I think you should spend more time with your kids. I was very sad, very pissed. And I came up to him and said, I'm sorry, I'm a mom to my son, but at the same time, I'm a man in the family. And at the same time, I'm myself. I need my coffee morning, morning coffee. I need my time, a little alone time. Sometimes I could travel by myself, but that's me. And I don't want it conflict with a woman, a mother, or a father, a man who work every day. So be any role that you want to be. I think there's a no definition that you should become or the media, media lead you to be. Can be strong, can be feminist, but make sure that's you. And as a woman, I think the most powerful woman is someone know that you're soft, know that you're weak, Know that sometimes you need somebody around you. Know that you can cry and show your emotion. One line, one sentence I really, really like. The secret of happiness is no secret. So be happy, be yourself. Thank you.